Diagnosing a foreign body often starts with the history, but the clinical signs tell you the urgency. The hallmark sign, of course, is vomiting. This can be acute and explosive if the obstruction is high, like in the pylorus, or intermittent and chronic if the object is moving or lower down. You will also see the classic sick dog signs, anorexia, lethargy, and dehydration. Pay close attention to abdominal pain. In dogs, we see the prayer position again, stretching out to relieve tension. But there is a critical distinction to make. Is the patient vomiting or regurgitating? If you see regurgitation, passive expulsion of food or saliva without heaving, stop looking at the stomach and start looking at the esophagus. An esophageal form body requires a completely different approach. Linear form bodies have their own specific red flags. In cats, this often presents as repeated, relentless vomiting. Here is the most important clinical pearl of this episode. Always check under the tongue. In cats, string often anchors around the base of the tongue. If you miss this during your oral exam, you might miss the diagnosis entirely until it's too late. On palpation, these patients are often extremely painful due to that cheese wire tension we discussed. Finally, you need to recognize the signs of perforation and shock. These patients are crashing. They present with collapse, pale mucous membranes, and tachycardia. They may be febrile initially due to sepsis or hypothermic if they are in decompensated shock. Their abdomens are often distended and fluid-filled. If you see these signs, you aren't just diagnosing a foreign body, you are managing a septic abdomen, and you have minutes, not hours, to act.